I disagree with, with the Texas judge's ruling, uh, and the Justice Department will appeal. Uh, this is not the first time where uh, a lower court uh, judge has uh, blocked something or attempted to block something that uh, ultimately uh, was shown to be lawful. Uh, and I'm confident that uh, it is well within my authority uh, and the tradition of the executive branch's prosecutorial dis uh, discretion to execute this policy which will help us make our borders safer, will help us go after criminals and those that we don't want in this country, will help people get on the right side of the law uh, and get out of the shadows. Um, and you know, keep in mind that this is something that uh, we necessarily have to make choices about because we've got 11 million people here who we're not all going to deport. Many of them are our neighbors. Many of them are working uh, in our communities. Many of their children are U.S. citizens. Uh, and as we saw with the executive action that I took uh, for uh, dreamers, people who had come here as young children and are American by any other name uh, except for uh, their legal papers want to serve this country, oftentimes uh, want to go into the military or start businesses or uh, in other ways contribute. Uh, I think uh, the American people overwhelmingly recognize that to uh, pretend like we are going to ship them off uh, is unrealistic uh, and not who we are. But with respect to the ruling, we, I disagree with it. Uh, I think the law is on our side and history is on our side. And, we are going to appeal it. Uh, for those who are now wondering uh, whether or not they should apply, uh, we are going to uh, refer those questions to the Department of Homeland Security that's already begun the planning process. Uh, and we will be prepared to implement this full, uh, fully as soon as the legal issues uh, get resolved. Preview.